welcome back this is teacher Katie and this is the preschool project I'm really excited we are starting a new letter the letter is dun, 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 drum roll. Bum, 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 bum. the letter X and X makes the sound X, X. can you make that X, X, X. so as I said on Monday there is not a lot of words that start with the letter X one of the very few that start with the letter X is x-ray and same with x-ray fish which we found out you can see the backbone of the x-ray fish they are kind of transparent which means you can kind of see through them kind of a silver transparent they're really cool if you want to look up more information about them they're interesting little fish so x-ray x-ray fish and also xylophone xylophone starts with the letter x but it says Z. So it's kind of a funny word. In English, we have some kind of funny words, don't we? But anyways, this is my letter X. Some of my words end with the letter X, like fox. You hear that X sound? X. Nice job. And box. And six. So those all end with the letter X. You can make X with your finger. Look at that. Nice job, just like that. All right, let me show you how to write the letter X. Here we go. Here's my star and my moon. It's just two steps. You're going to make a diagonal line, which I call a slide. Start at the star, slide, go to the moon, and slide. So pretty nice and easy. If you want a little bit of a guide, you can put a dot at either end so you know where you're going to, if that is helpful for you. And there is my X. So I have my capital, my big X, and my lowercase, my little X. The number for the week, my number is the number 24. Yesterday, we drew 24 marbles. So let me draw my star, my moon, my star, and my moon. All right, so I'm going to make my 2 for my 20. And I'm going to start at my star. We're going to make what looks like a backward C. I call a magic rainbow and then a little road. So a backwards rainbow, a backwards rainbow, a little backwards seat, so a little rainbow and a little road. And then we're going to do our four. We are going to do a little ladder, a little road, and we're going to go to the moon and make a really long ladder. So a little ladder and then we're going to make a little road and then a long ladder, and that makes the number 24. Another way to look at, to make the number 24, we can do our tens chart. And we haven't done our tens chart for a while. So here we go, make our, ooh, <laughs> our tens chart. We're gonna have a lot of, lot of things in there, right? So let's see here, boop. There we go. So I'm making my tens chart. So that means there's five on the top, five on the bottom. There we go. So we have 10, 20, and we have 24. So I need one more tens chart, right? There we go. We won't use the whole thing up, but we still need one more, which is crazy. All right. So I'm going to make my marbles again one more time. We're going to start right here and we're going to go one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. So that is another way to make twenty-four. To show it again with my tens, when you see this number right here, you know this is in the tens column, so you know it's two tens and four ones. Whoops, I'm very bad at dropping those. <laughs> so I have my two tens and my four ones. So another way to show 24. Our numbers keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You guys are getting really good at your numbers. So there is my number 24. So yesterday it was Monday. It was Magic Monday. I turned myself into an x-ray fish and then we drew x-ray fishes as best as we can. And today is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Put on my shoes day. Yay! Wait a second. Do those look like my shoes? Those don't look like my shoes. My 
my shoes are a little bit smaller. Whose shoes am I wearing? I borrowed somebody's shoes today. They have really big feet, really big feet. And when you go to buy shoes, you have them in a box. And the last letter of box, let me write box B, O, X. The last letter of box is X. And we're gonna do something with a box in a moment. But it would need a very big box. My feet aren't quite that big, are they? <laughs> I think I think teacher Katie borrowed someone else's shoes. But it is Tuesday Tuesday. Put on your shoes day. Let's sing our song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we say the end. All right, like I was saying, when you buy a pair of shoes, really cool shoes, um, they come in a box. So I was thinking, if you have a box, that works too, but if you don't have a box and you wanna draw a box, a box is a nice big rectangle. Look at that. And then to make the lid of the box, you make a another rectangle. If you happen to have a shoe box, you could decorate it if you don't and you want to draw one, that is totally fine. And if you have stickers and you want to decorate it. So I am making a box and I am making a shoe box. So here is my shoe. I'm going to make a really cool shoe. <laughs> and here is some shoelaces and there are my little ties and since we are studying the letter X I am going to put the letter X on my shoe because they are very cool shoes these are X shoes so there is my X on my shoes <laughs> so you can write the letter you can write the word box and you can make some cool X shoes <laughs> Well, I hope you have fun, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye.